Hi, today I'm going to do a fun teacher tech tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up your desktop to look colorful and organized. Under this video in the description, you'll find links in order to download 11 colorful wallpapers and more than 60 folder icons. So in order to create these icons for your folders, what you're going to do is first create your folder. So you are going to right click or double tap depending on what you're using on your Mac and then click on new folder. Go ahead and tap on the title in order to reward it. And here I'm going to put lesson plans because I want to organize all my lesson plans in this one folder. And then I'm going to open my folder where I have all of the rainbow folder icons. And I'm going to look for the icon that says lesson plans and click on it to open. What you're going to do next is click on edit, select all, edit, copy, and then you're going to click on the folder that you want to put that icon on. You're going to right click the folder or double tap it and go down to get info. Then you're going to tap on the folder on the top left corner and go back to edit. Make sure it's highlighted blue and then go back to edit and paste. And you'll see the icon show up. Here you'll see that I have more than 60 icons. I'm also asking if you do have any other ideas or suggestions of what I should include for these icons, um, go ahead and let me know. Send me a comment and I'll try to include it in the packet and then all you have to do is re-download it to get the updated version. After you add the icon to the folders, you can go ahead and organize them in whatever order you want. If you right click on your desktop and you go down to sort by, here you'll see that you can sort them by name, kind, um, the date that you created it, the tags or size of your folders. Um, snap to grid means that you can't be moving them like this. Like I can place this one wherever I want. And if you snap to grid, it'll stay on your desktop in horizontal and vertical lines. Um, you can also clean it up if they're not very aligned. Um, you can go ahead and click on clean up and it'll sort them again into rows and columns um, just so that it looks neat and organized. Another way that you can customize your icons and your folders is by right clicking on your desktop and go down to show view options. And then here you can see that you can choose the size of your icons. So if I go this way, they get bigger. Um, or you can make them smaller. You can also customize the spacing if you want them close together or far apart. Um, the text size that's underneath each file, you can go ahead and customize the size of it and whether you want the label in the bottom or on the right side and how you want to sort them. Now let's go ahead and change the wallpaper on your desktop or your Mac screen. Here you can see there is 11 different versions of rainbow desktops you can choose from or there's three Spanish wallpapers that I created so you can add. In order to change your wallpaper you're going to right click on your screen and then go down to change desktop background. Here you'll see the folders on the bottom of where you'll have your your wallpapers. I put all of mine on documents and I'm going to choose this one right here. I don't like the way my folders look on the side so I'm going to make sure that I can drag them and put them underneath the title here so that they all look nice in the in this white area. Make sure that you have it on none. That way you can go ahead and and move them. After you place them where you want to put them, um, I don't like the way it looks a little bit jumbled, so I'm going to go ahead and click on 
the right click on the desktop and then go to clean up and it kind of fixes it for me. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. The links to download these wallpapers and folder icons are on the description below. Teachers from my school or district send me an email and I'll gladly send them to you.